What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about how Watch Dogs Legion's release date is probably the worst it could possibly be. Now, I think it's very important for a video like this for me to start out to kind of clarify things just so I don't get a lot of uh, hate right off the bat. One, I'm an extremely big Watch Dogs fan. I've talked about this game a lot. I'm very, by the way, very, very excited for this game, okay? I'm going to be getting this game day one. I can't wait to play it. And in fact, what we'll talk about later on in this video, I thought the gameplay that in, in what Ubisoft has shown and what other people have shown up from what they've been able to play as well. I think it looks really, really solid. I'm actually very impressed with this game. And out of the two, Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed that I would say, obviously, we've seen the most of today, I think Watch Dogs easily impressed me way, way, way more than Assassin's Creed. Okay, so I'm just throwing it out there uh, nice and early just to, so we're all on the same page. With that being said, I've always been very critical about this game. I've always been, uh, you know, I've always tried to have as much concern constructive criticism as I possibly can on Watch Dogs Legion because again I really want this game to, to do good I want this game to be good I'm only looking out uh, for the best for this game but with that being said the release date really is honestly the worst nightmare that they could have uh, ever envisioned truly three weeks less than three weeks actually like two and a half I guess like two and two thirds <laughs> I mean weeks can only be uh, split up so much right but this game comes out just a little under three weeks before Assassin's Creed October 29 2020 Assassin's Creed it's November 17th. I just think that is about as bad as it gets. Remember, and this is this is why we can trust people, by the way, like uh, Jason Schreier, formerly of Kotaku, now at Bloomberg, right? He said actually a while ago, several months ago, that he was hearing that Ubisoft is very willing and probably will end up putting Watch Dogs to release within a month of Assassin's Creed, that they feel comfortable doing that, even though, as we've said, I think the success on, of Watch Dogs uh, really depends the most on how far away it can get from Assassin's Creed. I just do not think that it coming out only a couple weeks before is good enough. Now, I guess it's not, no, when I say like it's a nightmare scenario, the biggest thing, the biggest mistake they could have possibly made, remember we actually talked about this in the last Watch Dogs video I made, was to put it after Assassin's Creed. If Watch Dogs came after Assassin's Creed, it literally doesn't get any worse than that. How, so I guess you could say it coming first is solid. And it is. It is definitely, again, Watch Watch Dogs, out of, out of the two, Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed will hurt Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs, I do not think, will hurt Assassin's Creed. I really, really don't. Now, these games sell well. So even, you know, I'm over here, I'm being Mr. Mr. Cautious, Mr. You know, I'm very concerned about this game. You could be saying, well, I mean, these games sell really well. And they do. I mean, Watch Dogs games sell very, very good. They're normally on the years or in the years that Assassin's Creed is not. And now I'm not saying like that, you know, helps it or hurts it, but that's just strategically what Ubisoft has always done. This is going to be, and this is something because I've talked about the the release and how it could potentially impact Watch Dogs. I've talked about this for like almost like over a full year at this point. So I really, I, I feel I don't have like a lot riding on it, but I feel very invested to find out when these games come out, how well do they do? Because again, to be quite honest with you, now I, I will say this, I have not yet seen people's reaction to what Ubisoft, so I've seen gameplay, I've seen what Ubisoft has shown again, I've seen what uh, you know other news outlets have shown Watch Dogs related. I didn't like scroll down, look at the comments, so I don't know how to read the room, right? With Assassin's Creed, we talked about that game uh, a few hours ago on a different video. I saw a lot of comments that seemed very disappointed about that game. Watch Dogs, I haven't done that. So it'll be interesting. Like, does Watch Dogs actually get the one up on Assassin's Creed? Um, it's tough. It's tough because coming out at the end of October as well, I guess you have the fact that it's still coming out on current gen and that can help it out. Very weirdly, for both of these, they said that the next gen version is coming soon like the next gen version will come soon after which is odd considering again I would imagine that by the time we get Assassin's Creed, the next-gen consoles are probably already out, if not releasing on the exact same day. And then for Watch Dogs, same kind of thing, right? It gets released, and then uh, next-gen consoles probably come out uh, like two, three weeks later at the absolute most, right? So I don't necessarily know why they did that. I think next-gen definitely is going to help a game like Watch Dogs. It kind of sucks that, I mean, the way they've handled it, right? Because I'm going to be, I mean, I'll tell you personally, I'm going to get the PS4 version, I'll play it for a couple of weeks and then get you know the free upgrade uh, for next gen. The difficult thing is again it comes out right before you're going to have all these games in early and mid October 
what's going to suck, and again, it, it doesn't really impact me, okay, because I, I do make these videos often. I talk about my concerns. I'll tell you, from my own personal standpoint, I will be getting this game day one. I'm going to try and play it as much as humanly possible. Now, Little Hope, the game Little Hope, it's a smaller game, comes out, I believe, a day after, October 30th. So, besides that, which is like a four or five hour game, Watch Dogs will hopefully, uh, uh, you know, in terms of right now, it, it's as of right now, it's the only thing there. So, hopefully I'll be able to play it for a couple weeks. Next Gen comes out, Assassin's Creed comes out, and then I would play that. The sad thing, the way they're doing it, and I know this kind of like goes against all the stuff I've talked about, is the, the way they've handled it, I don't even know if I will play it for next gen because there's probably going to be so many games that release. You know what I mean? There's going to be so many games that come out. There's going to be so many things going on. By the time we get to next gen, although it's only three weeks, I'm probably going to be ready uh, to put the game down. But see, right there, even right there in itself, that is my biggest concern for other people. Some, someone like me, you know, I have this channel. I, I talk about a lot of different games. I try and play a lot of different games. I have to jump around, but I do, you know, I don't like leaving games behind. So I'm going to try my very best to not leave it behind. But even me, even someone who does want to give it a chance i'm probably gonna drop it when it comes to next gen because i'll have already played it for two three weeks you know depending on uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and play as much as possible maybe i don't get through it all the way but then assassin's creed comes out and then i mean god knows we don't even know right god knows what else comes out middle to end of november right it could be a ton of different things so then you have that you have next generation in general will i go back and play watchdogs on the ps5 i might you know get, getting the next gen upgrade will i do that will i be distracted by all these other other games instead and again you can take that and kind of spread out even further to say okay well that's me now go with somebody else assassin's creed may win over somebody else and 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 so again you have a situation like i'm saying which is almost the exact same thing you buy watchdogs but then maybe you, if you don't beat it within those two three weeks you jump over to assassin's creed one final thing too is you know i'm not saying i'm made of money okay i'm not rich i don't have a lot of money at all but i mean we we save up and we we plan for you know to buy games it's really the only fun thing i buy i really don't buy anything else for myself uh, besides games or like going out to a movie right when new movies come out so i'm covered but other people money does not grow on trees next gen consoles are going to cost a lot of money if you're going to want to upgrade you're going to want to get assassin's creed maybe you're going to get this game maybe you're going to get that game maybe you're going to get uh spider-man miles morales maybe you're going to get halo infinite i mean there's so many games Money, again, money does not grow on trees. You have limited amounts of money, and you have limited amounts of time to spend on these games. And again, no, Assassin's Creed and Watch Dogs are not the exact same game, but they're both open world. They're both Ubisoft. They both are, I mean, they have that feel. I mean, a lot of Ubisoft games, especially in that same kind of genre, they feel pretty similar, right? And, and I mean, again, I'm not saying they are literally the exact same thing, but there's definitely competition there. And that's honestly the biggest reason why history ubisoft themselves even knows that because they've never had this happen before they always spread out assassin's creed and watchdogs and again watchdogs was supposed to release last november they didn't have anything i mean they had ghost recon breakpoint but they literally snuck that thing out there as if they didn't want anybody to even know it existed right so they even tried to do that obviously so watchdogs uh, didn't make that one now it has to come out this year with assassin's creed i don't think that was in their plan i don't think they wanted this at all now you could say and i and my, a good question I would love to ask them one day is why October why late October I think this game remember when I was predicting the release date I said my best the, the, the thing that I can make it so it would I guess go over as well as humanly possible would be have it come out late August sometime or, or even September September is really that last time if you would have had this game come out I guess like a week after like Avengers let's say so like September 10th September 12th like that that kind of range early in, in the like the tens or the teens of September if you would have done that you could have given it two full months it would have gotten two full months uh to kind of live on its own before assassin's creed now it's literally got three weeks so it's going to be interesting we'll see if it affects sales firstly right because you may and, be, and maybe it won't maybe it won't affect sales but we'll have to see because you may have people that are saving up for either one of watchdogs or assassin's creed but another thing that i would love to see is how long do people stay in this game now it's not a thing like the division or it's not a thing like ghost recon where I think they put a lot more value into if people are, or I guess like Rainbow, uh, you know, Rainbow Six, where if they're putting time into it as as time goes on, 
right? Uh, for a game like For Honor or Division or anything like that, if, I mean, a big part of it is do they stay long term, right? For Watch Dogs, I mean, it, it's not really focused. I mean, it always has had multiplayer elements to it, but it's mainly been focused on just sales. Does the game sell well? So we'll have to see if maybe people buy it, and then it's kind of like what people are saying with The Last of Us, where like a week or two later, it's literally appearing everywhere uh, that you can do it, kind of like pre-owned, right? We'll have to see. We'll have to see if they bought it. They tried to beat it as quickly as humanly possible, like within a week or two, and then they're trying to sell it so they can buy Assassin's Creed. I'm worried. I'm definitely worried. This is not the release date that I wanted. It was one that I thought was totally possible. I kind of, in my heart, in my mind, I did kind of expect this. Like, I was going into this event thinking, all right, these two games are probably going to be very, very close to each other. We're just going to have to accept that. And again, for me, I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm rich or anything, but I'm ready. I'm going to be ready to buy both these games day one. I'm ready to play these games both day one, but not everybody's in my situation. People are in school, right? I mean, it's literally uh, the end of October. You're definitely in the midst of school, so if you're in school, you may not have time to play both of these games, and so why would you buy both of them, right? If you're not going to be able to play them, why would you buy them? So you got to think of a lot of different things that obviously Ubisoft maybe thinks they did, but probably didn't, right? So guys, let me know. What do you think? Now again, to, to finish this all off, I loved what we saw. So I'm, I'm definitely on board with this game. This game looks very, very solid. I'm happy with everything that we've seen. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to buy this thing day one. I'm ready to play this thing uh, as much as I possibly can in the two and a half weeks that they've given me, and I I'm ready to go. But let me know uh, your thoughts. Are you guys going to get this game? Does Assassin's Creed being so close affect it? Let me know what you guys think, as always, in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed to our YouTube channel podcast now. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up, and check out our Discord. The link for that will also be in the description below. Uh, we're going to have more Ubisoft videos. I actually have a second channel as well. I'm going to be making a video on the second channel uh, for tomorrow as well as on podcast now tomorrow. So two more Ubisoft videos coming to you guys. Obviously, when these games uh, get closer and closer to coming out, I'll continue to cover them. I'll be buying them, live streaming, playing, all that kind of stuff, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all on the next video.